I'll be on my way now. You just give me a... Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how I basically installed this gorgeous wig from Beauty Forever Hair. This is their 33B unit and it's kinky straight, so let's see how I install it. I'm gonna have to work with this. Okay. Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. Um, my name is Tima, and uh, this is another hair review. I actually, I, had, I already filmed the intro, but I have to do it again because the lighting is better now. But I got this wig from Beauty Forever Hair, and this is their 99J unit, and it's pretty much like, it's giving me like aerial vibes, and um, it is their kinky straight unit. So as you can see, there's texture going on, but this hair is extremely soft. Like when you run your fingers through it, it's amazing. And I've already washed this hair. So this is what we're working with. It all was one length before. And then I left the bottom the way that it is. It's just really natural looking. And it's also natural looking A, because I did layer the hair myself, but B, the lace is really good. So let me zoom in so y'all can see how the lace is. I can put a little bit more got to be glued here, but as y'all can see, Beauty Forever honestly has upgraded their lace. Like I haven't seen lace like this in a minute where the wig is really affordable. But that being said, I feel like a lot of companies now are changing the grade of their lace now and realizing for them to really compete with other hair companies, they have to do well with how the lace is looking to really match um, the hair texture. It makes sense, right? The customer will be happier and they will go back and buy more wigs from the company if the lace is good. So they're all competing for that, which I think is amazing. And honestly, um, this kinky straight texture is really, really nice. Now let's go ahead and get into the specs of this unit. Um, but before that, they did send me a few things. So they sent me wig caps, two pieces. So they sent me um, an edge band edge control band like whenever you're doing your um, installing the units it's really good to use this in my install for this video I don't think I use that they also sent me lashes and more wig caps and all that good stuff but yeah the specs of this wig okay so this is their 13 by 4 kinky straight lace front wig oh so the color is not 30 something J, it's 33B. And it's, ugh, like the pictures even on the website are really, really good. Yeah, so I don't even know the length of this. What is the length that they gave me? I think it's 24 inches. And we'll do the luxury density. The normal density is gonna be 231.83. And then the luxury density is gonna be 305.93. And this is a 24 inch unit goes up on me like this i'm pretty sure actually i have 22 inches so again you're not spending a lot of money on a unit like this and i'm telling you if you just get yourself one of those like razor combs and just get a small chunk of your hair in the front and like right around here you kind of just make sure that you layer it and cut all the wigs that you end up using will look fantastic even if you take like the sideburn pieces or like 
the areas close to your ears and do the same thing, which I haven't done with this wig yet. And you just kind of like shave off the hair when it frames your face. Your wigs are gonna look that much more natural. You don't really have to do too much. Like a lot of the companies, yes, they do that already for you. But again, you can make it look even more natural by yourself. You don't have to necessarily spend like six, seven hundred dollars in one unit. You know what I mean? I've done that before, but the most I'll spend is like four hundred at this point. And I'll do everything else myself. But I'm gonna show y'all how it looks on the side. It's so pretty, just the way that it falls. Again, like me making that really big difference of cutting my own bangs transformed this wig completely. And yes, this hair is already straightened. At the beginning of the video, I don't think the whole thing was straightened, but I make sure for this wig specifically to use a hot comb at the very top. And then the rest of it, I don't really need to do too much. And it still has a lot of texture going on. So it looks really natural. Uh, I haven't seen a kinky straight unit in this color, which is 33B yet. This is the first time, which is why I feel like it's doing so well as far as the popularity of this wig. I'm going to go ahead and buy this one again. Yep, they take Afterpay, Klarna, and Zip payment. They're doing 35% off right now. So you can split that into four payments. You're not gonna be paying much at all, which is amazing. The lace is really good. I don't know how they do it. Um, I see one girl in one of the pictures, she has bangs and stuff, but yeah, this is how it's looking. It's so pretty. But I think that's all that I have to say. Um, if you end up getting a kinky unit like this, make sure that you straighten it first and then make sure that you cut. Again, I cut like right around my nose or actually a little bit longer than that. The pieces are in the front. And then I take a flat iron and then I just curl them backwards and then move the hair in the front a little bit with my finger so it has like a natural way of lying and you know, framing my face. And that's it. So uh, that's all I'm gonna say for this wig. I'm gonna go ahead and take some intro shots for you guys and maybe a few photos. And I will see you guys in the next hair review. Okay.